Hello everyone, we are going to use the Comfy UI Live Portrait KJ Edition to create video-to-video -video walkthrough talking avatars like this one. We can also use this custom node workflow to generate face motion for any previous animation from Animate Diff or videos from AI Video Generator, making the characters with face motion and more dynamic like this. Let's see how we can do it in this video. I'm also going to run this on a cloud GPU called Mimic PC. This will enable you guys, especially if you don't have high-end computer hardware, GPU or graphics card in your machine. Mimic PC fully supports automatic 1111, Comfy UI, Focus Face Fusions, and also very cool Olama Web UI and Chat Olama. You can also do your voice clone using RVC, and all these web UI systems can be set up with just one click, creating an instance for you without any trouble with installations. Recently, my friend created the service, so I want to try it out, and I think it is pretty well done and beginner-friendly. So, I put this video-to-video -video live portrait workflow on there for you guys to try out. If you have a lower-end GPU and need a solution, this is the way to solve your problems and generate AI animations without waiting for a few hours to come 3 or 4 seconds output video result. As many experienced guys said, and I also agree. Open source is not totally free and there's no free lunch. Rather become a test lab rat or make yourself a better solution. You need cost to run AI. So let's check it out. Okay, I have logged into Comfy UI. I'm using the large instance because I don't want to spend too much time waiting. I have preloaded the workflow already. Loading the workflow is pretty simple, just like how you usually do in Comfy. Drag and drop any JSON files onto the interface and it will load up the workflows. Here, I have loaded videos for the driving image, which gives the emotions of the face, etc. And here I have loaded videos for the face and the source image, which is the previous video. We are doing a single image, but right now we are using videos and converting that image batch to an image list. This way we can process each image smoothly without flickering and all the emotions follow through the driving image. So again, after converting the videos through the video to video process, it will be coming from the full image output and we are converting the image list back to an image batch. This is using the Confui Inspire Pack custom nodes. We have the image batch sent to the video combine and it will show the result here. The only difference between using a single image for live portrait and the video to video method in live portrait is converting the image batch to an image list. With this, you will get a good result for adding emotions to your source video. This is a very simple workflow but very effective for changing the face emotions of your source videos. Right here, we have the Comfy UI Manager, which by default comes with the setup of Comfy UI in Mimic PC. I have created that already and as you can see, I have topped up some things. I just want to demonstrate to you that this is going to work for some people who have low hardware setups or have seen some comments from people with even a 4GB VRAM display card. Yeah, that won't work to generate AI animations locally. So, I recommend you guys try out Mimic PC and it is not very expensive. I mean, if you need to use it for work, then you must invest something to make it work. Right? Installing the model files is very easy to do. Here, we have the file explorer. Click on the top menu button and it will pop up this file explorer list. You can see there is a models folder here by system default. Click in here and you can create your own folder. For example, I have created the live portrait subfolder. By doing that, you can click this menu and you will see the new folder button. Then rename your new folder. For example, I have a new portrait folder, the live portrait folder. Lastly, you have to upload all these live portrait files, the model files, into here by selecting click to select files. It's a very self-explanatory UI system. I don't think I have to explain too much. Yeah, so I got two videos here and let's try it out. It will be pretty fast with a 24 GB RAM, similar to what I have in my local machine. It will process this in about few minutes. This is the source video that will be three seconds long. So yeah, three seconds is not gonna take a lot of time to generate this. Okay, so after a while it's working. The progress bar is not going to be sensitive in real time. 
reflecting the progress on the cloud server. This is one thing you have to remember because it's just the cloud server through the browser and the progress bar is not going to reflect in real time how much percentage is finished, etc. I was running this and guessing how long it would take, but it doesn't show that. Yeah, that is the way it is. But after a while, it has shown the result. As you can see, we have changed the face emotions and the mouth. I have lowered the eyes retargeting because, you know, it's kind of too much for the eyes emotion like this. I have lowered the eyes retargeting multiplier to 0.5. So, there is less movement on the eyes and the eyebrows, but we got the exact same movement for the lips. Here, we have the movement following the driving image and the driving video. So there you have it. This is the live portrait videos to videos using the KJ Custom Notes Edition. It's an easier, simpler way to run this. All you need are these few custom notes and to connect the source videos and the driving videos with the facial expressions. Then you get the video combined for the output. So that is it for these videos and I hope this inspires you guys to find an easier way to generate videos. If you have low VRAM in your local machines, you can try out Mimic PC. My friend created this service, so I asked if I could try it out. I just want to show one of the solutions for people who have lower end GPUs or display cards in their local machines. I think this is a very easy way to get started. They also have Olama Web UI, Automatic 1111 Focus, and RVC for voice cloning. And of course we have the Comfy UI, just click this button, quick start, and it will set up the instance for you without you to do installation process. Overall, this generation takes about seven minutes to generate. So while I'm talking, and it's been about eight minutes, the server performance and page loading speed are doing pretty fast and responsive. Some custom nodes need additional setup for dependence Python library. You can go to their Discord and ask them do it for you. Their tech support will help you set up. While I saw some other cloud GPU provider are not going to set up end user installation and setup process, but Mimic PC is very beginner friendly platform. You can just hands off all the technical issues and not making yourself headache. I will share this workflow image on here so you guys can check it out. This workflow can be fully applied through the app image without downloading any model and node. The Live Portrait V2V workflow and play around with it. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.